Okay, beauties. So we left off with talking about my friend P. P and I became very close. Um, we used to get breakfast in the morning after a few weeks of meeting each other. And it was good for me because I was eating breakfast, which I wasn't doing before that. And I would eat bagels and cream cheese, which were huge fear foods for me. Um, and then I'd go to treatment and do my day and... We got close enough to the point where she was coming out of my house and we'd hang out and we'd have a couple drinks and that was beyond anything that I was doing before treatment. Um, I was scared of the calories. Um, now I'm going to go in with some trigger warnings. Um, we're going to be talking about um, um, and so go ahead and scroll on if you don't want to hear about that. So P had trouble with that and they were helping her at the treatment center and it didn't bother me being her friend that she did that because I know some people struggle with that and as long as she was getting help, that was, you know, it is what it is. Um, anyway, she came to spend the night one night and I went to bed um, and my boyfriend was home and I got up in the middle of the night and I went to go check on her and she was sleeping and there was a mirror um, in the family room where she was sleeping and she had drawn in her own all over that mirror and I was just terrified and um, I went to the bathroom and she had done the same to the mirror in my bathroom and I couldn't even go to the washroom which I, what I had initially gotten up to go do um, and I woke up my boyfriend, I was just like, what the fuck? Like, that's some scary bullshit. By the time I woke up in the morning, I woke up before her and I went to go to the bathroom again. It was all gone, it was all washed off. And my boyfriend's like, she cannot spend the night anymore. And I was a little bit traumatized from that. And I was just like, okay, like it kind of, like it's one thing to, but then to do that at someone else's house, like that's just, a little morbid for lack of a better word um but it traumatized me and especially i was in such a vulnerable space in my mind right now going through treatment for my eating disorder um so i went to treatment the next day and i had told my therapist about it and you know we talked it through and it was time for me to maybe step back from my friendship from P. And there's more that I worked on with my therapist about it because I, was, I it did bug me deeply. Um, anyways, a couple days later, I drive myself to treatment because I was still an outpatient and um, P comes up to my car. Sorry, the planes were about to fly by again. P comes up to my car and she has a gash on her leg um, that was like this wide and that big that she had done to herself. And she asks me to touch it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Like no fucking way. Right? And um, I just told her no and she was like really like come on touch it touch it come on come on come on like egging me on and i was just like no like get the fuck away from me like and she grabbed my hand and like moved it closer to her and i like ripped it away from her and i was just like mm -mm. and i like pushed her out of my way i got out of my car went inside to the treatment center and i immediately went to go tell one of the supervisors and they separated us and they called an ambulance for her and they decided that she needed more care than they were able to give her. But I was so traumatized from that experience that I had to go to the residential center to spend the day there. I wasn't in residential treatment. I still got to go home at the end of every night, but I can no longer be in the outpatient program because I was so triggered being there that day. So... I didn't want to come back to treatment after that. I no longer felt safe there. And they told me that I should take a couple days off. So that's what I did. Um, you're going to have to come back for a part five for the continuation of this story.